Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm part of the All Nations Christian Centre family and this is my thought for the week. So I've been thinking about root growth and not in the sense that I need to book a hairdresser's appointment now that lockdown is easing so I can get my hair sorted out. But this is more along the lines of spiritual root growth by having a relationship with God. And I've been reading Daniel and I really noticed that even in a different culture, you know, Daniel was still true to himself, but more importantly, he was true to God. And it really got me thinking about, you know, as I venture out into the world now, you know, as as lockdown is eased, am I going to conform to this world, to the way of of, of the world's way of thinking, or will I remain rooted and grounded in my identity in Christ? And I think we can learn a lot from Daniel uh, from this, because we see a man that was committed and unwavering in his walk with God. You know, Daniel didn't conform to the world around him. You know, we see he was carried off to Babylon, into exile, to live in a culture that was completely different to what he had been used to. And even though those around him were trying to tell him what to eat, when or when not to pray, he still remained true to God. He didn't waver or change in his walk to suit those around him, but he served and continually honoured God. But it did make me think, you know, how how did Daniel do this? And I think Daniel 6.10 really helps to understand how he remained so committed and unwavering in such a difficult um, and different culture and circumstances. And in Daniel 6.10, it says this, when Daniel learned that the order had been signed, so there'd just been an order sent out to prevent people from praying to, to, to any God for 30 days. But Daniel went home, went upstairs to a room in his house, and the windows faced Jerusalem, and he actually went and prayed as he had always done. He knelt down in the open windows and pray to God three times a day. And I really don't believe that this was a legalistic or religious ritual, but a true and real connection with the living God, with our Father, which I think rooted and grounded Daniel because of a true relationship, because it was real. He was having a daily conversation with God and it wasn't just talking to God, but it was listening to what God was saying as well and then acting upon it. And, you know, it's the same for us. When we are rooted, you know, we cannot be moved. And Proverbs 12.3 tells us no one is established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous will never be moved. And we are righteous through Christ. You know, it's just, I suppose, the same as, as when a seed germinates. You know, those roots get pushed down first. And it's the same for us in a spiritual sense. You know, when we spend time with God, he gives us stability so that we're not moved. Because we know our Father, and our Father knows every single detail about us. You know, there is nothing to fear when we come before him because he knows absolutely everything. And it's in his presence that he feeds us, that he's strengthening and restoring us. A bit like, you know, roots that are pushed down into the ground, that are taking all the nutrients from the ground, the water, the minerals, whatever's needed to grow. And in his presence, we see how amazing God is, but we are also constantly reminded of who we are, of our identity as a child of God, as a, you know, in the body of Christ, because that's reflected from him. You know, and sometimes we might not feel as though we're fitting in where we currently are. You know, maybe we feel like we're swimming against the tide, but there is a reason for that. And that's because God has set us apart to be different. We are a new creation, and as lockdown is eased, you know, we will be the salt and the light in this world if we remain rooted in Christ. And I think what amazes me more um, when, when, when reading Daniel is, is not that God saved Daniel from the den of lions, as wonderful as that is, but it was actually that the impact he had on somebody that didn't believe in God because of his actions, because he was unwavering and stayed committed to God. And we see King Darius actually giving glory to the God of Daniel and writing to all the nations, all the languages, all the people. And he actually says this, I make a decree that in all my royal dominion, people are to tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God. 
enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion shall be to the end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He who saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So I just want to encourage us this week, you know, remain rooted, take heart, you know, stay grounded, built up just by spending time with our Father daily. And it may only start with a few words. It could even just be, thank you, Father, for another new day. You know, just help me get through this one. Because God is here for you and for me, you know, waiting for us to spend time with him, to enjoy a relationship with him. And only God knows what will come from that relationship with him and how being rooted in our identity in Christ will help others also. So I hope you have a really good week. Take care and God bless.